what's going on everybody in this one i am rolling with coach storm three two one go okay so i sit down here i'm still playing with the knee injury a little bit not playing with it but dealing with it so it's all about defense in this role as you'll see coming up storm's going to a knee on belly and wants to go to the mount. I'm using that elbow frame to keep him from getting full mount. Then he does a reverse knee on belly to spin to go to full mount. But I was able to anticipate it and turn to the side. He comes around and is reaching in, trying to go for Darce, I believe. But he changes his mind, starts to switch around. I roll to the side here. Now, one of the things I've been doing is every night I've been studying offensive techniques try to do it for about an hour or so. And I've learned through that process that by knowing different offensive techniques to, for finishes that I'm able to see better what people are trying to do to me when they are attacking me as well. So I'm not able to get him off at this point. So I'm basically just defending, putting up my frames. Here he is, he's going over top. Trying to go for that north-south position, I roll back. <laughs> now Storm is laughing at some conversation going on in the background. He's able to concentrate on me as well as he can focus on other conversations going on. It's just like when someone is on top of you and they're talking to someone else while they're beating you up. But anyway, I deal with that as I am still defending here. He has full control of what's going on at the moment. So, let's see. He's going around. He's going for Kimura. I'm defending that. Okay, so I'm turning to the side. And I felt he was trying to go for the mount. I was able to get my leg up in time. Let's see. Have my knee up in case he wants to. And he just steps right into that knee on belly. Getting ready to cross over to a mount. It seems as if he's going to do that. Okay, he steps over. Now at this point, I felt like he was going to go for the knee. I think he was paying attention to my knee and, and decided not to, to do that. And I appreciate that. Now it comes back over top. Puts that arm around to keep me in place as he's deciding to, to spin. Goes to a north-south. I wanted to push back so we could do the Civil War. That's why I would push on his hips and then I would try to come up. But he flattens himself and then comes around. I have to ask what this technique is called or what is the position is called when he does that. From a north-south coming around. All right. Still defending here. Staying real close to me, keeping his uh, real precise with his movements. I'm framing, trying to keep a hand on his neck, keep him from coming in. You can see he has his hand around my neck and is pulling in from both sides to try to keep me flattened out. Wants to do it in reverse. Let's see, uh, I don't know if he's going for the arm here. Okay, it seems like he's working on a Kimura or something along those lines. One of the things when I'm defending is I'll try to notice how much strength a person is putting into a technique. And I'll try to guess if they're trying to explode. If they're not trying to force it, then I rest too. And it's, it's a gamble, but you can pretty much feel when someone's going to explode. And then you can tense up at the same time to keep them from doing so. So that helps me preserve or conserve energy. Now it looks like he's trying to do some sort of like a scissors kimura type action on my, my arm there. Alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.